Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro has used colorful language to lambast the head of Regional Body Organization of American States, OAS, Luis Almagro. His remarks came after Mr. Almagro called an emergency meeting over Venezuela's institutional crisis, a move which could lead to Venezuela's expulsion from the OAS. Mr. Maduro dismissed it as meddling. The Venezuelan leader also called for a big anti-imperialist and anti-Almagro march to be held on Wednesday. Venezuela at risk On Tuesday, Mr. Almagro published a 132-page document, in Spanish, requesting a meeting of the OAS Permanent Council. He argued that the institutional crisis in Venezuela demands immediate changes in the actions of the executive branch. He also said Venezuela was at risk of falling immediately into a situation of illegitimacy. At the emergency meeting, member states will decide whether to invoke the Inter-American Democratic Charter, which could lead to Venezuela's suspension from the OAS. Mr. Maduro, who has clashed with Mr. Almagro in the past, reacted angrily. He told a rally of supporters, Mr. Almagro, you can take your democratic charter, put it into a thin tube, and shove it wherever it fits. Venezuela must be respected. Speaking on his national television program, he later said that Mr. Almagro was filled with hate against Venezuela and accused him of acting on behalf of the U.S. State Department. History will judge you and you'll drown in the deepest mire in hell reserved for interventionist traitors, he added. CIA agent. Mr. Maduro has in the past accused Mr. Almagro of being a CIA agent and has blamed Venezuela's problems on a war being waged against it by the U.S. with the help of right wing forces within Venezuela. He also had harsh words for leaders of Venezuela's National Assembly who had asked the OAS to invoke the Democratic Charter. He said he would put them on trial for treason. The government and the National Assembly have been engaged in a standoff ever since the MUD opposition coalition won control of the legislative body in parliamentary elections in December. MUD politicians say their every move is thwarted by the Supreme Court and the National Electoral Council CNE, bodies they allege have been stacked with supporters of President Maduro. They accuse the government of trying to block a recall referendum which could see Venezuelans vote on whether they want Mr. Maduro to serve out his term or be removed from office. Members of Mr. Maduro's Socialist Unity Party allege that at least 10,000 of the 1.85 million signatures on a petition demanding the recall referendum belong to people who are dead, and are therefore fraudulent. The National Electoral Council has yet to comment.